Yes, how y'all doing, man? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to the Pokemon Night video featuring Venusaur coming through the jungle in the Master Rank. Having a good old time playing with a couple of my buddies this game around. We have uh, Hoopa down there being played by Fish, and we have Green down there playing Decidueye. Now, we all know the tricks when it comes to Venusaur, right? The Petal Dance, the Giga Drain, the Sludge Bomb, Solar Beam. We, we, know, we know it, right? We know how much damage Venusaur can do and how much sustain he can have in a team fight when you actually have a proper team with support backing you up. It can be very difficult to take you down. And this is solo queue, this is group play, it doesn't matter. It just feels like in group and solo queue, it feels like it's harder to pull this off. Because when you're running Pedal Dance or you have a Venusaur on your team with Pedal Dance and you being the support, you're like, buddy, go in. I support you, I heal you, I keep you alive, go in. And 9 out of 10 those Venusaur players don't do what? They don't go in, they don't initiate, they don't engage. So then you're just stuck there with a DPS on your squad who comes out doing 30k, 40k at the end of the game. It's just not worth it. Like, at that point, they might as well play a defender, they might as well play a support if they're not going to go in and do damage. And it's very, very hard to see something like this when you're playing Venusaur. And which his kit literally has you just go in, you know what I mean? You have to be in melee range for pedal dance to be be viable and all that sort of thing. When you're running Giga Drain, it gives you, gives you a little bit of sustain, but in solo queue, that's very far in between. In group play, yeah, he's ridiculous, right? He's still super strong, still a lot of damage. But at the same time, why is nobody talking about Solar Beam? Hmm? Is that just not as good? Is it super inferior to pedal dance? What do y'all think? Do you guys even know how Solar Beam works? You shoot a target with Solar Beam, right? You, they take 10 ticks of damage, meaning like it's a dot that ticks 10 times, right? After those ticks do damage depending on your max HP. The enemy is max HP. Think about it. I mean, it does ridiculous amount of burst damage and it goes through targets. Its cooldown gets reduced again once you upgrade it. Solar Beam is really, really solid. But the downside to it is even in group play and solo queue, regardless, you have to what? You gotta aim, you gotta land those shots. You actually gotta be, you know, around that area to actually hit somebody. And that's not very difficult, especially for players that don't want to play pedal dance or don't want to actually be inside the team fight or don't know how to position well inside the team fight with Venusaur or pedal dance. Just play Solar Beam and then play on the outside of the team fight. Play like Cinderace, you know what I mean? Just be in the back line, not in the front line, not the focal point, and just pepper people off with Solar Beam. The ability does ridiculous amount of damage if you do it right. Ooh, Charmeleon, please leave. Nope. I gotta be greedy for a minute. Yeah, we got it, boys. Let's go. But, but still, man, I'm having fun playing this. We're running Buddy Barrier as well, the normal item, regardless if we're not running uh, Pedal Dance. We always run Buddy Barrier on Venusaur. Just at the end of the day, it's just the bread and butter, right? Then we run Muscle Band, of course. And then the, op the third item is optional. It can either be Choice Specs or it could be a Focus Band. Those, that's just me between the two. Now, in this situation though, I'm literally just trying to go around and do as much damage as I can. I crit her by the way with Vine Whip because we are running Scope Lens and Venusaur's Vine Whip can crit and does a ridiculous amount of damage sometimes. But either way, I'm just trying to, to, to traverse the map between objectives back and forth, trying to help my team when I can and get damage off with Solar Beam as I'm going through these lanes to get these objectives, what have you. It helps you clear bees, it helps you steal objectives. Solar Beam is just does a lot of work as long as you can position and land the ability. Like I said, it's much easier to play than Puddle Dance. It may not seem like it, but it's a mentality thing. It's a mental thing, you know what I mean? Whereas it's micro or macro type, type ordeal, I think Puddle Dance is the harder ability to play because you have to know how much damage you can take in a team fight, what you can sustain, what you can't sustain, you know what I mean? There's a lot more involved. And I think that's why in solo queue it's a little bit harder to run Venusaur. Because at the end of the day, even if you're playing him as a DPS, you gotta rely on your team to give you that support to back you up, you know what I mean? Type thing. It works both ways, right? But with Solar Beam, you stand back, you use PPU things. That's it. Your team may get mad at you because you they don't feel like you're doing a lot of damage. Which 9 out of 10 you probably aren't unless you land in your abilities. But if you are, you're gonna do the top of the charts. 9 out of 10. Every single game. Now again, we're sitting down here fighting for a second Dreadnought, and I'm already super far ahead. I might as well just pop another Unite move and get this for free, right? Essentially. Hopefully I can get... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, all right, another Pentakill. Can we, can, can we get it? Can we get it? What's that, four? Three? Four? Yeah, it's four kills. 
I think you took it, didn't you? I think you took. Oh, you jerk! It's all good. It is what it is, man. I've got I've got enough of those so far in my career. Pokemon Unite. It's all good. Don't even get that that excited about them anymore. Sometimes sometimes they're pretty hyped. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? That was our cue to leave. Right then and there. I don't know why we pushed that for some reason. Making mistakes one on one. I don't even care if we kill the Charizard. We don't need to be here. This is awkward. Okay. All right. Oh nope. Now we're all dead. Power of Cinderace. This Pokemon was irrelevant pretty much 90% of this match, by the way. 90%. He gets a kill and just chains these. Chains kill it to kill it to kill. And it just gets him back into the game. Blaze Kick is just so stupid. Let alone his attack speed. His movement speed once he activates his Unite move. It's really, really hard to deal with him at that point. But what are you supposed to do, man? Hopefully we're able to get the, the Rotom on top side. But we'll see. Cinderace is still down here in the bush, so hopefully you don't get killed. He's level 13 now. It's crazy, dude. But either way, hopefully we're able to get that Rotom so we can come back from this. I'm on the way top side. It's probably the smarter thing to do here. No, y'all got it. Never mind. Grab my Jungle Buffs right fast then. But yeah, for those of you that don't know, you can cast Solar Beam and Giga Drain at the same exact time, pretty much. If you cast Giga Drain first and then hit Solar Beam, you will hit both abilities at the exact same time. It's a little trick. I mean, a lot of people probably don't know about it. If you hit Solar Beam first and then try to Giga Drain, it doesn't work like that. But if you hit Giga Drain first and then Solar Beam, like immediately, you will hit both abilities at once, which is really, really huge. It's a huge deal. It's a huge amount of damage, especially when someone's like in your face. You know what I mean? Could you click them with both abilities? So it's a lot of burst damage. And I think we're about to mess up here. We probably shouldn't be here fighting this, to be honest. I see him starting and I'm I'm sitting here like I, I want to leave type ordeal, but this is not the right play to make for us. And I, I go ahead and pop you night. I don't know why I did that. I mean I, I mean we got the kills, right? The see, but that unite his unite wasn't necessary. On, I think it's probably better for him to get himself killed there and just die. And just respawn because they're all topside not paying attention to this anyway. He had enough time to do that, I think. But now he doesn't have Unite. None of us on our team have Unite. We're probably going to lose his app this fight, I think. But we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, all I have to do is chip, chip away at their targets. Look at that. That's a lot of damage, man. Three Solar Beams kill Serena right now. It's nuts. But still. Oh. Well, he just Dragon Tailed backwards by accident. That sucks. Well, I mean, that's not that's not why he died. But you know what I'm saying? Like, just I think the positioning there got, kind of got us. We probably should let Blissey just get killed there because she got caught. But at the same time, she did have Unite move, so I don't know. Either way, dude, hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Make sure you, you know, you like and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. A lot of commentary, not commentary, a lot of content coming to the channel here soon. We, we'll, we will be playing Tiny Tina Wonderland on the channel, live stream and uploads. So I'm excited for that. We have Dying Light 2 coming out to the channel. We have a lot of games up updating to this channel here soon. Hopefully at the beginning of this month in April. So stay tuned for that. Don't worry, Pokemon Unite's I'll, I'll obviously not going anywhere. Main focus of the channel every single day. Content for Pokemon Unite. But other games will also be coming to the channel. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys will be interested or have fun watching it or what have you. Now, again, we are also working on Kirby's new game for the Nintendo Switch. So I'm very excited for that as well. A lot of people enjoy Kirby. It's going to be probably like, I think it's my first time playing a, per se, like a co-op RPG type S style game with Kirby. So I'm pretty excited for that. But hey, man, take it easy, everybody. Enjoy it while you can. I will see you guys later on. Stay safe. I'm going to head out.